G'day and welcome back to RC Model Reviews. What have I got on the bench today? Well, I'm not reviewing this. This is a project that I was working on some time ago and I've had mixed success with it. Um, what is it? Well, it's, it's one of those toys from the Planes movie. It's a Corsair. And it's surprisingly, it's made of EPO, I think. EPO, moulded EPO. It's not polystyrene, moulded EPO. And what I did was I thought, well, let's just put rudder and elevator on it because it's got some dihedral, so it will respond to rudder quite nicely. Throw a receiver in it and a battery and see if it flies. It's what I did. As I say, I had to make a new elevator and it's really not big enough. I copied the original and if you compare it to the total area of the wing, it's just way too small for stability. So I've, I've had some issues with it. Small brushless motor in the front here, as you can see, just a tiny one. And, uh, but I will get this going because it's a really interesting project. I'm going to have to put a new tailplane in it. And you might think, well, so if, it's, if I'm not reviewing this, what the hell am I reviewing? Well, I'll show you what I'm reviewing. The run came swift too. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> you can't see it. You can't. It's too small. You can't see it. This is a little tiny plane. Look how small that is compared to the to the plane. So it's actually quite practical to mount this on the front of that plane, isn't it? And it's not going to add significantly to the weight. In fact, speaking of weight, let's throw it on. Throw these things on the scales that don't show the blood, and see what sort of weights we're talking about here. Because weight is now becoming a very important aspect in the hobby. Okay, let's have a look at the plane with battery all ready to go, except for a propeller. Weighs a hefty. 57 grams, 59 grams, sorry. Whoa, that's so far under the 250 gram cutoff point. It's not funny. If we, even if we throw the FPV camera on there, 65 grams. So throw an antenna and an FPV transmitter on there and you're looking at maybe 70, 75 grams. No, be, yeah, it'd be 75 to 80 grams. That's a very, very light model. Very light model indeed. Well under the 250 gram limit that regulators now seem to think is the cutoff point where it becomes a toy. It doesn't need to be regulated because it's too small and too light. And the way regulation's going because of drones, um, if you build stuff that's over 250 grams, it's becoming very difficult to have the fun we used to have because there's just so many restrictions being poured on, especially in countries that are members of the EU. They're going to have a real nightmare time. Countries like Portugal, oh, well, they just, you know, pack up and go home if it's over 250 grams. So this sub 250 gram thing is going to be big. The smaller it is, the bigger it's going to be. And this kind of thing, I'm hoping you, know, you can fly this in your backyard. And that's the kind of fun because here in New Zealand, um, the, the local council, if you've watched my extra channel, local council has prepared a bylaw to ban flying drones in the parks, even though there's never been a single complaint from the public. Um, and it's, the only reason we can fly them at the moment is because they forgot to include the word drone in the last draft of the bylaw. So they're moving to close that door. Um, why? It means that the only places we'll be able to fly stuff soon is at home in our own backyard. And you can do that with a little quad, but fixed wing? Yeah, not so easy. You can't fly, you know, like a, a Skywalker or an AXN in your backyard if you live in a suburban environment. But something this size, well, it becomes practical. And you're probably thinking, nah, you're full of rubbish. You're full of crap, Bruce. You can't, fl you can fly that in your backyard. Well, take a look at this video. I put a little excerpt in here. I hope Rips doesn't mind. And I've linked to this video in the description of, well, linked to the video you're seeing now in the description of this video. So go and click on that link. This is a guy, he's got a, video, a channel, FPV channel, Omaguli Bird, I think you pronounce it, and he's got some really crack FPV stuff. Just go through the, the, you know, his videos, you'll find something. He's got a 200 mile now fun jet, he's got a Spitfire that does long range FPV. It's brilliant stuff. Just go and have a look. Honestly, you will love every minute of it. But this is a video of him flying in his backyard in, in France. He's got a holiday home in France, flying a thing called a Magnum Reloaded around the pool, under the trees, around the house. Woohoo, how much fun is that? But to do that, you need something small, light, and slow. And I'm thinking, well, hey, this is the perfect camera because look how small, let's, actually, let's weigh it because I didn't do that. If I can get the scales to go, there we go. How much does this massive camera weigh? Six grams. <laughs> it's nothing. It's nothing. And as I say, this has the same performance as your Runcam Swift, apart from a little bit less light gathering. I've done a review of the Micro Swift before. This is the Micro Swift 2 because it has OSD, so it's got a voltage input. It'll display the voltage of your battery pack. So again, it's fantastic because it gives you an OSD without any added weight at all. Mix this with a small, one of those little 200 milliwatt video transmitters and a lightweight antenna. It's going to add very little to the weight of the plane. So I'm thinking stuff, even kids toys like this can be converted. And if you really want to go cheap and light, one of those. Look at that. What does that weigh? That weighs, this airframe weighs 16 grams. Ooh, but obviously you wouldn't fly it like this because it's pretty flimsy foam. You know, it, it's pretty bendy. You can see the tail's had a bit of an accident there. But you put some carbon strip down here, carbon strip along the wing. 
Now you can put in some of these super small servos that you see in the back here. See those little orange servos? I think about two grams or three grams each or something really lightweight. And the little free sky receiver, or one of the other full range free sky receivers, a two cell battery pack, small brushless motor and ESC, FPV set up, and you're still going to be way under 100 grams. And these things are like two bucks. They cost $2. Even by the time you strengthen it up with some carbon, you're looking at about a maximum of a $10 airframe. Honestly, that is so cheap. Who cares if you plunge it into the pool? Um, you know, a, a, such a cheap airframe, super lightweight, super lightweight equipment, and your backyard will be your flying field. And even if you do have a full-size flying field, it's still going to be a ball to fly. So what I'm going to do, because I thought, how will I review this camera? I can just put it on the bench and I can show you it's exactly the same as the original Micro Swift, except for the RSD. So you're not going to learn much there. Um, and there's plenty of videos showing how these things work. But I thought, nah, let's use it in a project, a really valuable project that anyone can build for a really low cost and enjoy a bit of flying in the backyard, especially in winter even, because it's going to be winter up north very soon. Spring's here in the south, so it's got to be autumn soon or fall in the northern hemisphere. And soon you don't want to go traipsing out to the cold flying field. You just want to nip out the back of the house, do a few circuits. FPV. This will be the camera of choice because it's CCD. It has got, for its size, fantastic light handling. And it's got a built-in OSD to tell you how your battery pack's going on. Fantastic. So we're going to do that. Um, I will continue and get this flying. But I'm thinking initially I might just go and buy three or four of these. Carbon them up, set them up, and make it into a flying project. Everyone loves fixed wing. This is going to be a fixed wing project. So um, see how we go. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. So put your comments in the usual place in the bottom of this video and any questions you've got I'll try and answer them. But I think this could be a really good RC Model Reviews backyard FPV project. You tell me if you agree or not. In the meantime thank you for watching and there will of course be some more information on this camera when I get it installed on our sub 100 gram FPV fixed wing product or model. And uh, we'll see how it performs. But oh, I know already how it performs. It's run cam. They haven't made many duds, actually. And I doubt this is a dud either because you've seen the Micro Swift review. Same thing. Just got no SD. Here you go. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.